All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. I hope my voice can be clear. Please invite your friends. And where is everybody? We have a thousand three hundred something, and now we have only four hundred fifty-one. Hmm. Okay, well, no problem. Um, uh, as we told you, uh, we have uh, we receive a phone call or call from um, Dr. Hassan, and he is going to be with us in a moment uh, to share with us how Islam helped him, and he will tell us he will prove to us how Islam is a true religion. So uh, please invite your friends, and uh, let us uh, see together if really Islam have any benefit, if Islam is true, if Islam, you know, worthy uh, to be called even a religion. Now, for sure, the Muslims, they will say, yes, it's worthy. And, um, you know, they have their own reasons. And, you know, we get to listen to those reasons and see if they are true or not. So I hope that nobody will call names, nobody, nobody will use a bad language. I encourage the admins right away, anyone who use a bad language against a speaker or any Muslim in the chat, please give him a time out as a warning first time. If you don't listen, then just to block him. We are here to fight for the truth, not to fight with Muslims. Even sometimes like I get angry, get upset, but this is not really what, uh, you know, I mean, this is normal. You, you get some time frustration from somebody trying to deceive or to lie. But I hope that's our guest today is not going to be uh, like that at all. Uh, we hope, uh, you know, for that. So let me uh, call uh, Mr. Uh, Hassan, who he promised us to be with us now. And uh, we'll go from there. Yes, Dr. Hassan, how are you? I'm good, sir. How are you? I'm fine. You, you are live on air now, and um, everybody okay. is waiting for uh, for you to tell us why Islam is the true religion. Go ahead. Okay, so um, thank you so very much. Um, I'm, I'm not a scholar or something, but uh, I do find these uh, conversations interesting since uh, they give me a chance to actually uh, go and uh, dig deeper into Islam and uh, know more about my own religion, you know, and question it actually. And uh, and uh, I mean, uh, let's let's just uh, okay. I'm gonna start it. Um, so so I I I I'm a doctor, and I, for me to for something to make sense, it has to be very logical. And uh, there has to be, yes, evidence, but there has to be like a, a kind of evidence which is like substantial, you know. There has to be like a lineage. Hmm. Or you can say, uh, like, uh, you know, connecting the dots, just like Steve Jobs says. Hmm. So, uh, uh, you know, that's how our brain works. So uh, there's always in science, there's like a hypothesis. You, you must have read it, like null hypothesis. Uh, first, you have to actually deny the fact that there is uh, there is a relationship. Whenever you're testing something, you know, uh, it's called the hypothesis. Uh, it's called null hypothesis. First, we uh, deny, okay, that mm -hmm. uh, a statement is not true, mm -hmm. okay. And if we cannot deny it, then it is true. But I I'm not gonna uh, play this trick over here uh, <laughs> um, because this is not like a science experiment or something so uh, so uh, i mean logically thinking uh, if you uh, because my background is psychiatry by the way uh, i'm um i'm i'm, I'm um, i did a lot of in uh, my own country and uh, by the way i'm a sunni muslim okay so uh just to clarify um so so whenever you like uh inspecting somebody or someone's behavior uh, you i mean uh, let's just analyze our prophets my prophets uh, uh, behavior mm. uh, we we can only come up with uh, a few conclusions okay. i mean uh, prophet muhammad he can be a liar right that is one possibility uh, the other possibility 
uh, he can be mad, right? Okay. That's that's a very uh, uh, that's a big possibility too, and a third possibility which uh, which can be if these if these two are not there lying if he's not li not lying, and if he's not mad, then he's probably telling the truth, right? Um, right? Okay. Can we agree? No problem. I'm listening to you. Okay. I'm okay. Okay. So 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 so, uh, so first, let's just say if he's mad, then he's not lying. Uh, by default, all right. Um, because in in uh, if you think that if he's he's let's just say he's mad, okay, a, a mad person, mm. uh, it's like a delusion going on, right? So delusion is like uh, is defined in psychiatry as like a firm belief, which is like a false, but you uh, but you a, a mad person actually believes that it's true. So he's not lying. <laughs> you know, right. if you're mad, Correct. he actually believes in his statement. He believes in what he's telling his truth. So he's not lying. Okay. Can a I liar. Comment, uh, uh, Dr. Hassan? Sure. Okay. Okay. I'm so gonna stop. if sure. somebody, if somebody, he is a, a Hindu or a Christian mm -hmm. or anyone, and he says, mm -hmm. like, let us say somebody, he's a Hindu. I saw a documentary. I'm not, I don't know if it's true. Uh, they believe that uh, rats is uh, God, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, so if he believe in that, he's not lying. He believe in a lie, correct? He's not lying. No, uh, his uh, no, no. You don't understand. If, if, uh, for example, if uh, I'm a crazy person, okay, okay. then, uh, for example, a schizophrenia person, okay, they're not faking it. Oh. What I'm saying is, faking and lying is the same. Uh, is the same thing, you know. Right. A, a person can okay. be truly a patient, okay. or he's faking it. You know, that's right. what that's my point. No, I, I got so that, lying. I got that point, but I'm saying. Additional to that, if somebody he is saying he is a Christian, he believes Jesus is God. Is he lying, uh -huh. or he is believing in that? And that lie, they believe it. Maybe it's a lie. What do you think? Is he no, lying? we're gonna. Oh, here's the thing. Here's the thing, sir. Uh, in the Western society, and in actually, uh, I'm not gonna say sorry. Uh, that's like a pro, uh, the wrong thing. I will say we should carry the same criteria for everybody. Right. If a person claims something like that, we'll, we'll carry the same criteria. Mm. He, he can be like, we have to test it. I'm, I'm, I'm giving you the possibilities. But, but is it, I'm not sure whether he's, whether his claim is right or wrong. We have to analyze the claim All right. again. So we, these will, are like the I basic things. I will go with you. I'm listening to you. And you said okay. we have to watch the behavior of the prophet, correct? Either he's mad. No. Yes. 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 We have to first. We have to analyze. You know, if right. if, if I'm lying, okay. you will you will find why I'm lying. You know. Okay. Why would he? Because this is how we actually diagnose no somebody. Tell, tell if if it's somebody is schizophrenic, okay. we have to find all the symptoms. So he's schizophrenic. You know, Doctor Hassan. As yes. long you are, and this is your specialty, and this is your profession, I'm really happy to have you. That's because it will be a big help for us. You are just a person. Who, uh, this is what you do for a living, so you know what you're talking about. So, based in you watching the behavior of the prophet, how you describe his personality? Is he sick? Is he mad? Is he healthy? What do you think? Okay. Uh, yes, I'm, I'm getting over there. All right. So, uh, so uh, they're like, first of all, there are like two possibilities, right? Uh, they're both interchangeable. If somebody is faking it, then he's not mad, or he's not a patient, or he's not uh, schizophrenic, or whatever. He's not crazy, okay? okay. And if somebody is crazy, he's not lying. All right. So you get my point? He's not faking it, actually. He is actually uh, a patient. He is actually schizophrenic, or whatever we can say. All right. So so first, uh, clinically, let's just say if uh, uh, he's lying, okay? Hmm. That could be the first claim. So it means he's making everything up, okay. right? So why the question arises would be why? You know, if somebody comes to me, I give you an example. Hmm. Uh, this is called uh, um, Manchurian pro, uh, syndrome by proxies. Uh, please uh, ignore my pronunciation. Okay, I always uh, and my accent. I know it's a uh, uh, very Indian. Uh, I'm sorry if somebody uh, has like a hard time understanding it, but uh, I'm trying my best. Thank you. So if somebody is uh, uh, lying, he's definitely making things up. So there has to be uh, a motive behind it, right? So if you uh, so motive behind it, and there has to be a motive. I mean, uh, why would somebody lie? Why would a king? Um, I mean, if if somebody is rich, he has all the things. Uh, he won't ask for the money. I mean, that, that's like totally acceptable. 
Um, for example, if, if, for example, if I'm rich, I won't need money, right? Okay. That could be the, uh, my, what would be my motivation? What would be my motivation uh, behind my lying or behind my actions, you can say? So, I mean, I mean, let's just analyze if uh, my prophet is lying. I mean, uh, what would be the motive? What motive of liars they have? And they, like a liar, when mm -hmm. he claimed to be a leader, and especially mm -hmm. in religion, what motive do you think he is seeking? Like, give me oh, well, me. well, it could be, uh, well, there, there could be like multiple reasons if somebody is lying. Uh, we have to, uh, for example, um, there's a, there's a, uh, there's a woman who comes to my clinic and uh, she wants uh, a leave of absence. She wants, uh, she basically comes and tells that uh, my kid is uh, having a problem. You know, that's why I want to stay home. My kid is sick. Actually, she is lying. Her kid is not sick. And, uh, and basically she's making, uh, uh, there has to be a motive. You know, that what I'm, that what I'm trying to say is okay, what, the, what uh, the motive for a, somebody forget about a patient because this is just a, uh, you know, yeah. I mean, it's not I'm just you, this is a, this is a, per, a, this is a person, uh, Hassan, a person oh. claiming to be a prophet. And he, mm -hmm. by getting that position, he became a king, obviously. He ruled. He, 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 yes, he, yes, he, yes. So, I'm, I'm so what is the motive of a liar, who, of someone well, he claimed to be a prophet? <clears throat> okay, let's just analyze this. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. uh, uh, well, uh, the way I see it, uh, if, correct me if I'm wrong. Okay. Um, was he called the most uh, truthful person? Okay, so a truthful In, uh, person cannot be a prophet who is liar, correct? No, he, he can be a uh, he can be a oh. liar too. Of course, he can be. How but he, we have to see how he is truthful. We have to see. Okay, but I, no, no, so, no. Okay, uh, I mean, I'm just uh, for example. Uh, no, no, no. Here's the thing. Hmm. Um, I can be very truthful person. Okay, but uh, uh, there there has to be a reason for me to lie. You know. Hmm. Um, so you have to find the reason again. So truthful, but he's a liar. I mean, I don't know how that works. Either you are truthful or you are a liar. You can't be both. No, no, no. You can't be both. You can't be. If you're a truthful person, you cannot be a liar. All right. So was Muhammad a liar or he was truthful? I mean, you see the history. You have to see someone's behavior. Okay. Help me. Help me. How, how we can see Muhammad history. Uh, okay. You know, like as an example, mm -hmm. uh, uh, did Muhammad, he ask and he claim that he have the best of material stuff for his benefit as a prophet, as an example, the fifth of the booty and the best of the booty? Yes or no? It doesn't matter. Uh, why? Okay. So, so okay, he's getting, okay. He's getting, no, no, no. Uh, he's getting, he's getting the best. Uh, okay. Okay. Hold on. No, no. So your criteria is that since he's claiming that he wants the best stuff, mm -hmm. that's, uh, that's how he is a liar. No, I'm saying mm -hmm. if Muhammad is serving God and he is truthful, that is what mm -hmm. he do for the sake of God. Why uh -huh. he make a verse in the Quran says, that Allah told him any Muslim woman she can give herself to the Prophet so he can have sex with her. What does it have to do with God? Uh, okay, uh, so here's the thing. Uh, uh, if someone claims, uh, that if I'm analyzing here the behavior of uh, Prophet, mm -hmm. I would say, okay, uh, so either he wants sex, okay. a lot of sex, okay. right? Mm -hmm. uh, or what else? Uh, so he basically wants sex. That's the motive behind it, right? Mm -hmm. But he have a lot of, already a lot of women for sex. I mean, he have slaves. Uh, no, have I know. I know. Then why? So why he want, again, why he want, thing, why he want more? Why would he? Here, no, here's the thing. Mm. Why would he want more? That's the thing. That's the so thing. So what do you that's think? Why he more, as long as you are that? No, or? that is the thing. If he already has a lot of women, why would he, you think that he's lying? I'm, you I'm, have I'm, to give me the evidence. I'm not, I'm not uh, saying he's lying. <laughs> I'm asking you why he want more. A guy already have thirteen wives, <laughs> have hundreds of slaves for sex. No, no, no. So why? Why he make an? Why his God? He make a special privilege for him. This is only privilege for Muhammad. Sir, sir, mm. sir, sir. Mm. Here's the thing. Uh, you, if you are saying that uh, he wants more uh, women, uh, while my claim is that he already has a lot of women, as you oh, yourself actually mentioned, he so has like thirty wives. You don't think there's somebody you... sick? He somebody is sick, and he want more and more. He never have enough. Because uh, okay, what, what thing, Muhammad, thing, let, us, let us let us see uh, me and you. When Muhammad is going to have those women, what he would do with them exactly? I will give you three options. He will play chess with them. He will have sex with them. He will go and watch the movie with them. Which one of them is Muhammad is going to do? 
those women who offer themselves for the prophet who they are not his wives additional what they will do with uh, exactly what the purpose sir 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 mm. uh your your uh, uh let me say uh, what you're telling is is actually your you're actually proving your own point mm. uh let me say it so you're saying that uh, why would he want more women this is for you to tell me that if That's he's okay. lying you I, have to you have to i'm not saying he's lying i'm saying listen, listen i'm not saying you are a doctor right and suddenly when you're, suddenly then you're, you're saying you as a doctor you're, suddenly uh, you're you as a doctor, it's the truth. Hassan, then you're saying it's the truth dr hassan suddenly you as a doctor you do not know and you're asking me i'm asking you why a person he have a lot of wives he make a verse in the quran saying that god were, told him okay okay so first, why sir, god sir, why god has said why god sir, what, sir, sir, here's talk, the thing, talk, here's the thing. let's not to go over each other sir, okay. you're you're asking me the wrong question i tell you why hmm. i tell you why hmm. uh you're you're actually saying that he actually made up the verse hmm. okay so if he's not the one who made the verse why allah he gave he him a verse okay why allah he gave him a verse saying you're, you are she give herself to the prophet the guy he can marry as many as you want why exactly, Muhammad? Yes, why Muhammad? He can sir, marry sir. as many as he want, but Muslim they can marry only four. Can Here's you know? the thing. Here's the thing. Here's the thing yeah. like, mm -hmm. Alhamdulillah, you made the point. You you made the you made the point. Right. You're saying so. You're basically judging God with the same criteria as a human being, which is like totally not true. Which is totally the wrong criteria. Mm. I mean, you're saying. I mean, imagine if your God, would you like yourself to be made with the same criteria as your servants? I'm not judging. I'm not. I'm not judging anyone. I'm asking a question. Yes. You, if Muhammad no, is a Muslim, is, is Muhammad a Muslim or he's a Buddha or Hindu or a Christian? What he is? Is he a Muslim? He's a, he's a Muslim. Okay. So why a Muslim? He have a privilege, and all of them is about sex and it, money. It, it because God gave him. Okay, but why he's a Muslim? I mean, is that, does that mean that he is? Uh, he's a prophet. Above, he's a prophet. Is he above Islam? Is he above he is, Islam, he is, or he is under Islam? Is he above he's Islam? The, he's the he's the best of he's the best of the Muslims. Okay. He's so best of the human if, beings. If I am the best. He's the he's the king of the prophet. Okay, he's the prophet. king of the prophet, guys. So if he is yes. the king of the prophet, Allah, he made verses for him saying that any woman you want to have sex with her. Yes. He, yes. Oh, that's you. That, okay. 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 Here's the thing. You're saying. All right. All right. Then, then you can also actually criticize. Then uh, that uh, why he would be given uh, the higher the highest rank in the jannah or the mm. paradise. Mm. What what the highest rank in the jannah for Muhammad? Jannatul Jannatul Pradod. Okay, like what, he, what he will Allah do there? Allah. What he would do there? That that uh, that's none of our business. We have to no, reach there. It's it's it, it, say, it, say <laughs> that he, it says that he will have the power of one hundred men of the people of heaven in sex. Alhamdulillah. Okay. I'll be happy. Okay. I'll be happy. So, guys, I, the I prophet of stuff. Allah, but not you, not you. It's him, not you. He no, no, will no. have the power will... of of one hundred men of the people no. of heaven, and you, you will have a power of forty men in earth. That's mean the prophet will have the power of four thousand men he, in sex. Because, why? because, yes, he he can have it. I tell you why. Mm, why? I tell you why. Why? He 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 served um, uh, my Lord Allah more than me mm. myself. So he deserved more. Okay. He he suffered more. That makes he sense. He suffered more. That mm. makes sense. That makes sense. If, for example, so for if example, you suffer if more, Allah teacher, will give you more power for sex. Sir, sir, mm. here's the thing. If okay. you, for example, you're 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 a, you're a, you have a servant. Okay. Mm. If if a servant serves you more, would you not be happy and uh, give him more? Mm. Give, him, give him uh, give him more sex. I will. I will definitely. I, oh, I, he, he would ask right. anything. Okay. Okay, listen, uh, Dr. Hassan. You see, I'm taking advantage of having you as a doctor, and you are you're saying you are psychiatrist, like a. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm uh, sorry. Uh, forget about me that I'm a doctor. No, 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 this, no, this, no, this, no, no. This, I'm, I'm a logical person. Important. I'm not a logical okay. person. If I'm a person, to... if a person, he imagined himself seeing things, but in fact, he did not see those things. What do you think he is? And then uh, it would be schizophrenic. All right. So it's a, it's like hallucination. Thank you. So you're a prophet, and the hadith, and this is sahih. It says that the prophet he was bewitched and I want you to look in the screen with me It says once the prophet was bewitched so that he began to imagine that he had done a thing which in fact he did not Done what do you think this is uh, what 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 uh, you as a doctor? What is that telling you? Uh, so again, uh, so so you're saying that he was bewitched Right. I'm not saying. I'm not saying. It yes. is. It is you, Muslim, saying that to me. I'm Christian. So, 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 uh, so, what? Uh, so, what does it prove? You tell me. You, a second ago, you told me that he have a he have a mental issue. A second ago, you just said that. 
I ask you if somebody imagined himself doing something he but in fact he did not you said to mm -hmm. me he said Masik, you said that so you said anyone who do that he have what you describe it say again I don't I don't know how to say it correctly if, if somebody Shifrozonic is, 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 is that correct or I'm if somebody it, somebody can be schizophrenic okay okay so, somebody so can be is uh, not schizophrenic uh, because a second ago you told me but it's just saying that's for you, you to tell uh, no, no, I am asking you, you are a doctor, not me. I am not even a nurse. I, I don't even have a, a driving license. I mean, the only dri license I have is a driving license. They will take it from me soon. So I'm asking you, you as a doctor, somebody, he imagined himself he'd done a thing, but in fact, he did not. And the Muslims claiming that he was bewitched, which means he lost control of his mind. What you describe the situation for us? You you're saying that he was bewitched, so he was. I'm bewitched? not saying. Why you keep saying I'm saying, my friend? It's not me. It says Aisha. She said, narrated uh -huh. Aisha." You can look on the screen, by the way. It's in the screen. Okay, that, well, let me just see. Uh, she said, "Once the prophet was bewitched, so that he he began to imagine that he had done a thing which, in fact, he had not done." Okay, so where's your source, by the way? This I don't is know. Sahih I don't Bukhari, see. my friend. Sahih sir, Bukhari. Sir, 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 Sahih Bukhari. Mm -hmm. Do you know that? Uh, how much do we? Okay, I'm not sure about this. Okay, but I uh, read this one, and uh, I don't. I'm not. Sure. But but let's just say if uh, he's bewitched, what difference does it make? Well, a second ago you said he is uh, Shifrazi, and now you are saying what difference it make? Trying to find one who's fine. Uh, we Sorry, you see he, if he's a crazy. He, aren't you the one I who mean, starts saying, "Let us examine I, if I Muhammad can, is a crazy he, or a liar"? You, 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 you're saying that he, uh, since he was bewitched, so he's like uh, schizophrenic, okay. or he's like. You as a doctor, do you believe in bewitching? Uh, yes, I do. Okay, so you believe as a doctor, if somebody came That's to you, what? okay, if somebody came to you and says, "I imagine myself having sex with my wife, but in fact I did not because somebody bewitched me," you as a doctor, you believe in bewitching? Oh, there, there, there's actually there, there are actually evidences for this. Really, that a scientific evidence? Yes, really. So, uh, so how, well, how, how uh, somebody, a, how somebody? Here's, here's, okay. Hello, 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 hello. Yeah, sir. Science, science changes. Okay, first of all, science changes. Science is not constant. I'm telling you. Uh, for example, uh, there was like a planet which was removed. I mean, uh, science changes. Okay, hmm. we're talking about the logic here. Okay, I mean, okay. if I tell you, okay. I, I tell you what, sir. Hmm. I tell you what. Hmm. Uh, even if you see the medical science, hmm. there was a, like substantial increase in the, the knowledge in the last ten years. Hmm. Like the, which which is which we are like uh, uh, which we are seeing it. Okay, hmm. uh, the, before that, like there was uh, no no uh, not a lot of knowledge. Okay, hmm. uh, and it, it, this proves like things. Change in okay, so now, so you are saying to me, until now, science did not discover that the, uh, that magic is it true? Yes or no? Is it true or not? I'm going yeah. to science today. I, today. I I believe I, I believe magic is true. No, no, I'm but saying science, science, always... According to science, today, October 13, October. 2019. Is I mean, science, I is it true? Is science, science approving magic or the science is science. disapproving magic? Uh, I don't know. I'm not a scientist. Ah, come but, on. You're uh, a I, do, I, I do. I have You're read a doctor, it. I have read about you studied. It. Okay. Now, listen. So, oh, no, okay. I'm not a scientist. So, now you are saying your prophet bewitched. Can you tell me what bewitched me? Uh, he, he was. Uh, he had a demon or something. That's what you're saying. You're a prophet. He, uh, you know, he was saying, occupied by a jinn. My, my friend. That's a black magic. Black magic. Okay. You know? What's the black magic? Explain to us. What is that? It's a, it's a demon magic. But Muslims don't believe in demon. Uh, we do actually. No, you believe in genie. Uh, genie is not a demon. Genie is made from fire, and he is a creature. A demon. He can, he can demon even have sex with Muslims. No, 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 sir, sir. sir. Uh, we even have like uh, uh, in the in in the studies in the in the books that we have. What books? We have all the knowledge about the Karim. What books? Uh, I'll give you the reference. Don't worry, I will. Okay. Uh, the Karims and the jinns. Mm. The basically the bad jinn is. Uh, the, even jinns have tribes, you know, mm. and they can be Muslim, they can be Christian, mm -hmm. they can be Jews. Mm. Uh, so uh, we have, we have uh, in the religion. There's like a lot of, uh, lot of lots and lots of uh, information about it. Okay, uh, I want you to it's help a part me with of this. our. It's a part of our see, faith okay. too. The we jinn. have to right, believe right. in the supernatural so things. You are saying now, uh, and and everybody heard you. There's a bad jinn controlling your prophet. How he control him? 
Uh, because he was bewitched, so no, no. How he control him? How does Jin control him? What he do? He hold him from his. Uh, did you watch? Th did there, you watch there, the, are, uh, there are symptoms. There are symptoms, hmm. and uh, th there are symptoms, and uh, they according to the books, hmm. uh, uh, he has symptoms, and uh, I'm not. Um, if I, I read about it like a long time ago, hmm. so I'm not. Listen, I'm not, I don't not have my like question. A I'm not asking about the symptoms, uh, Hassan. I'm asking you, my friend. Listen to me carefully. Mm -hmm. I'm saying mm -hmm. to you, how the genie control him? Did you did you watch the movie? Like the, it's a cartoon movie. Like a guy, he own a restaurant, but uh, uh, they will not give it to him. And then a rat start teaching him. He jump in his side inside his head, and he hold his hair, and he make him move his hands. So how does genie? Let us say hey, that okay, is the so rat. In the head I, of Muhammad, I, I'm ready, and how is how is controlling Muhammad by his hair? What he's doing exactly? I I have no idea. I, I haven't. Uh, that's what I'm saying. I, I don't have the information about the bewitching and mm -hmm. everything. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, but I do know that whenever someone has is occupied, he will feel uh, like uh, soreness of the shoulders and everything. He will feel like some. Okay, if somebody heavy, if somebody be, bewitched you, if somebody bewitched you, and now you are saying and everybody heard you. He is under a black magic. Why you call it black magic? Uh, black magic is uh, pretty, pretty. Uh, I mean, it's a form of magic. Uh, so it's a bad magic. I'm not. I'm not a sorcerer. It's like so something bad. Like... Is something bad? Is it? A, is it bad? Is that magic? It is, bad? It is bad. Okay. Who it is? is who is the one who taught magic? Uh, it was an. Uh, it was. There were like two angels okay. uh, sent by uh, Allah. Right. Uh, as a test, uh, right. their names were uh, Habil and Kabil. Yeah, they were like two angels. It's like a story. In right. um, um, I think it's I read it yeah, in in one of our books actually. Mm. Uh, so and they came to Earth. Mm. They they said that uh, uh, Allah said that these. Uh, I mean, it was they were sent as a test. Okay, okay. they if they uh, teach somebody the black magic, mm -hmm. um, they tell that this is like a test. You will not be a Muslim mm -hmm. uh, anymore. Okay, mm -hmm. and if someone learns it, he's out of our religion. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, yeah, it, you actually have to serve shayateen and uh, basically the bad gens, and they will do work for you. Yeah, actually, you will do a lot of bad stuff for them too. So this is like a black magic, and okay. uh, the worst form of it is actually where uh, a husband and wife they get separated. Mm. It, even I'm telling you, this is what uh, actually the, these are the things with what jinns can do. Mm. So you are saying to us, Doctor Hassan, as I understand from you, mm -hmm. that Allah He sent two angels to open Harry Potter school in Earth, and the purpose of this school is to teach magic. And to make the husband and the wife fight and divorce each other is that what you are saying? Uh, I'm not saying this. Uh, you're. What I'm saying is hmm. that uh, black magic can do a lot of stuff. You can. No, no, no. You, hold on. You, you're Hassan, not. Hassan. Isn't you who said that Allah He sent down two angels to teach yes, magic? Yes. Okay. So absolutely. who is the one who opened the school of magic to teach magic? Allah. Allah He sent two angels who have certificate of magic from Allah. Yes. So Allah yes. is the first teacher of magic. He said he brought those angels. No, he said, Allah, okay, uh, who taught Allah, the angels? Who taught the angels how to do magic? Allah, Allah probably. Yes, okay, Allah, Allah thank did. you. So Allah, Allah, Allah taught the angels. He made a mm -hmm. training for them about to do magic. And then yes. Allah, he sent the angels down to the earth. Yes. And the angels, they open a school in the Babylon tower mm -hmm. to Absolutely. teach to teach people how to do magic. Why? Uh, because there was like a test. It's a test for human beings. Mm. It's a test. It's everything over here uh, that we uh, see is a test. Mm. Uh, if imagine, I mean, uh, if there is no test, there is no reward. So mm. there's always a test. Right. So Alhamdulillah. I mean, I mean, yeah. So yes. Allah, Allah is making a test by teaching me magic, so I can control somebody else. And now the Prophet himself is controlled. I tell you what. I tell you what, sir. Mm -hmm. I, here's the thing. He was. He. He was. Uh, yeah. This is in our books um, that there was a jadu or the black magic. It happened to him. Mm -hmm. I absolutely have. I, I, I. If I would deny it. Yeah, but uh, you see. But you see. Uh, oh, I'm going with your logic, Doctor Hassan. Yes. Yes. And yes. Just listen to me a second, please. You just say. Sir, I, I tell the Quran. Let, let, 
you said the Quran, and this is the Quran saying actually that Allah He sent two angels. Their name is Harut and Marut, and they will teach the man, they teach somebody, so he can separate between the wife and the husband. But this is not separating between Muhammad and the wife. Look what happened, Muhammad. Oh, none of his wife sir, separated from sir, him. Sir, and Muhammad uh, he started imagining sir, himself having sex, but in fact he did not. So sir, as you see I, here, this magic is different magic. It is about it's not about really infecting Muhammad divorcing his I, wife sir, It's sir, affecting hello. the life of Muhammad to the point can you think he is having sex, but in fact he's not can you first of all there are like two things first mm -hmm. of all you said that uh, you're, you're basically uh, Using my words, okay, I did not say I did say that okay. Yes, it can create separation But there are like a lot of other things that like no Magic can do no, no. It, it, you see, no. The, the Quran don't agree with you, my friend. You see, it's not you or it's me. The Quran in front of you on the screen, you can read it. Here we go. This is the okay. chapter two, verse number one o two, and this is the verse about Harut. Are you and are you showing me on Skype or where is it? No, no, uh, in uh, in YouTube. You can open YouTube, all right, okay, and you will see it in the screen. You can just mute the sound so we will not have double uh, voice. So what is what is the name of this uh, chapter? Live? Chapter two, verse number one o two. I can send you the link in the Skype if you wish. Do you want? Uh, what do you say the link? Oh. Chapter two. Can you just? I always say the link. Here we go. It's easier. Here we go. Just yeah. click at the link and open it. Friends. No. Right. Oh, that's good. Thank you. Okay. You know, uh, I tell you, if you're taking my opinion, mm, I mean, we are seeing patients. Okay. Hmm. Uh, screen share. No, not screen share. I send you a link. Click at the chat. Click at the text. Click at the text, my friend. Okay. I send you. Yeah. Click at the link and open. This is your Islamic link and the translation. There, or you can open any Islamic translation website. Go to chapter two, verse number one or two. It says mm -hmm. it clearly. Okay. So, so that this magic, that's magic. They will teach to cause separation between the man and the wife. That's it. There's no other thing. Yes. So. Okay. So you're a prophet. The, the magic he suffered from. Did not cause separation. It caused him to imagine himself having sex, but in fact he did not. Uh, I don't know where you're getting that one from. Uh, it's you're probably getting it from uh, what? I don't know what, what is your source. Uh, magazine, newspaper. Which what? magazine? Uh, you know, I, I thought like uh, um, Kardashian something news. I don't know. Where are you getting it from? Sahil Bukhari, where I'm getting it from? Where is where in Sahil Bukhari? Can I see it? It's in the front of you on the screen. Oh man, where is it? I'm I'm not opening the YouTube. Can you just okay. send me the channel go. link? Send the link. Here we go. Okay, I'm I'm searching Christian Prince here. Okay. No, no. Let me and no, live now. Okay, live the wait. Okay, I, I would. Uh, you want you want the you want the the link for YouTube? Here we go. I will send the link. No problem. But just be sure, please, uh, to mute YouTube so we don't have two sounds. Okay, this is you too. I send it to you in the chat. Okay. And I send you the link for the hadith. Okay, so so uh, uh, okay, so uh, what so what's what is the point? The point is you are saying to me where you get this from, which means this is surprising to you. And uh, the point is that this is did not separate between the wife and the husband. This is Deceive the prophet he controlled his mind and now the guy is illusion and you are the one who said to oh, me here's the thing. Here's You are the no, one no, saying no. to me. He have double standard you, now. He have double, double personality. What's your what's your friend? No, 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 here's the thing okay. uh, I already told you mm -hmm. that you you didn't listen to me. Uh, I said uh, Even I'm not sure about this uh, Narration where you're getting it from it probably even if it's Sahih Bukhari we Sunnis we we don't uh, believe that uh, Sahih Bukhari is like hundred percent true. My friend, okay, it is Sahih. Well, it's like yeah, seventy percent. It's in front 70. of you. I know it is Sahih. It, and the it, report I, I showed you, you. I tell you why. It is Sahih. I tell you why. Okay, it is Sahih, my friend. It's Sahih. So let us, let us not to play this game. It is Sahih. All Muslims agree no. about it. It's Sahih. No, no, no. It's only seventy percent that we agree. Uh, I, I can I can I can I can, I can tell you. I, friend, I can assure. My friend, I can give you videos of Muslim scholars saying that Sahih al Bukhari is the most accurate. And maybe 95, 97 uh, percent is correct. I will, I will, I will secondly, secondly, I will nobody, nobody disagree about this hadith, my friend. Not a single Muslim disagree. So let me tell you now. It, does, what's happening. it doesn't matter. It does not matter. You feel now. I, okay, now I, look, look, if look you what you did. My, if look you what you did, Doctor Hassan. Look at you. You are a person who said you study. 
and you are a person yes. who like to analyze and give a proof. Can you give me a proof that this hadith is not sahih? I, I, I can assure you. Okay, uh, listen to me first. Hmm. What did I say? I said there are. Uh, it's one of the effects of the black magic that it will cause separation. Hmm. I did not say, or even in Quran, if it says that uh, it causes separation, I did not say that it is the only effect of it. Hmm. Okay, even if we have uh, sexual relationships with the wives, if we uh, told Aisha, uh, um, I mean Aisha, he got married to Aisha uh, at the age of fifty-three. Hmm. Uh, even if they what? 53 he was 53 years old yeah okay i thought i thought you were saying Aisha, she was 53. no 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 was, no, no, no. was 54 actually but anyway okay and 53 53 i'm no pretty problem. sure okay one year will not make a difference anyway so i uh, <laughs> okay but uh, okay why, 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 so, i mean, I mean there, uh, i'm not jumping i'm, I'm saying yeah. that i if you uh, if you rewind my talk i specifically said this is not the only effect of black magic mm -hmm. even if we had what does it prove he he, he had the black magic so what Okay, but you are you know, when I showed you the first hadith that the prophet imagined himself doing a thing. So in fact, so he is not doing that. Okay, what does that mean? Let me tell you. Uh, and you so are what? you are a doctor. Listen to me carefully. Uh, what mm -hmm. the prophet he saw an angel squeezing him three times. But uh, but you just said to me the prophet mm -hmm. is imagining that he had done a thing. In fact, he did not. So how mm -hmm. we can so trust Muhammad that he saw an angel? How we can trust Muhammad that he heard Quran? How we can trust Muhammad? That I, he saw? I can tell you. I okay. can tell you how. All right. I how? can tell you how. Okay. So, so for, exa for example, mm. um, there's there's always something. Um, mm. Does he fall in the category of schizophrenia, or he's having uh, visual hallucinations? Or you're saying, if, if, first of all, visual hallucinations. There has to be a cause. I mean, you can't be. Uh, if somebody is schizophrenic, I'm telling you, uh, I've seen it. You can name me one schizophrenic person mm -hmm. who is so well behaved mm -hmm. and so organized. Muhammad, so so well behaved. <laughs> Muhammad is so well behaved. Oh my God! Okay, and here's, so I'm telling you, dude. Is some, uh, sir, is some, sir, I just sir. showed you. I just showed uh, you Muhammad. You're, you're, Muhammad no, making verses. There's nobody. <laughs> there's no high functioning. Uh -huh. uh, if somebody is a patient, uh -huh. okay, uh, they 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 don't act like this. If people like, have already say, analyzed the behavior like what, of like what like, like you say that is like what the, give me example so i can you can help me like what you you have to give me an example uh, that if if in the history if there's someone who's like high functioning and he's uh, getting the revelation according to you it's like high functioning Muhammad <laughs> was high functioning no you have to tell me a patient which mm. is like really high functioning mm. and uh, in in the present in the present day and he's having the hallucinations and everything you have to tell me that. that. There is, my there is nobody. Friend. There is nobody. So, is Muhammad was high functioning person? Uh, no, he was. He was totally normal. What is normal about a guy? Because I don't. And nobody can bewitch me. I change all the Muslim in the world to bewitch me, and I don't imagine things happen. But, but we happen. don't. We, we we will not bewitch you because we don't. Uh, we we don't practice magic. If we practice magic, we're out of Islam. Mm. So you are. We will never me, bewitch you. Okay. So Allah, He opened a school to be to teach people how to to bewitch each Allah, other. I already told you. Allah sent the. It has a test. Mm. Allah, Allah sent. Allah sent everything as a test. Okay. Listen, when Muhammad he claim and he say in the Quran that the sun sit in murky water, is that because he is his like he is having an illusion in his mind uh, no. that God told him that, or he is being truthful or being no, 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 no. Here's the thing: you're getting off topic again. Uh, I can discuss with you that thing. No, I'm not. That, uh, I'm not I because can, Muhammad I can, I, claim. Listen, sir. listen. Listen, sir, uh, uh, my, Hassan, my, Hassan. My, my friend, my friend, Chris, uh, here's the thing, sir. Sir, mm -hmm. I tell you what, mm -hmm. uh, we're analyzing the behavior. And the now behavior, we're saying, this is the behavior. When we have somebody, he stands in the middle, he says, I am a teacher, I'm going to teach you science. He will go listen to me. My God, he sent me an angel, and the angel appeared in front of me, and he told me to tell you this. That yes. Zul Qurnayn, he Why reached the sitting place I mean, of the sun and he saw no, the sun I, sitting friend, in a spring friend, of murky friend. water. Okay, when Muhammad he received a it's message from the angel that the sun sit in the murky water, he, was he imagining truth. things or this is it true? He's, he's telling the truth. Okay, uh, so does the, does the sun, according to your belief as a doctor, sit in a, in a spring of murky water? It doesn't matter because uh, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Uh, I, I don't believe the science. I, I, I can't tell you. I already mentioned to you. Mm. Science 
is uh, ever changing. Mm. Uh, it's uh, it, it's improving. You will mm. find everything. I mean, uh, there's all I can. Um, I mean, there are like a lot of uh, things in science uh, which are actually in Quran too. Mm. So you are saying to me that by time we will How find. Would, okay, I, okay. I ask you a question. Uh, Hassan, I ask Hassan, you, I ask you a question. You make your comment, a, please. Let us. You have asked me Hassan, a lot of questions. Hassan, I ask Hassan, you one let question. Let me make my comment. How, please. No, how, stop, stop, how do? How do? Stop! How stop, do? stop! 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 Seven, second. Just, just a one second. Question. Just a second, okay, Hassan. Sure, sure, sure. You see, we, you are a doctor. You are not a guy who uh, sells falafel in the street. Come on. So listen. You just say that science is changing. So are you saying that maybe in ten years from now we will find that the sun will find out in murky water? We will find out. Oh, so you are saying this is a true, and what we know today is I, stupid. You know why? You know why I say it? Mm. Because uh, if you read Quran, mm. okay, okay, um, there are, there's a thing uh, in Quran. Uh, there's a verse. It mm. says, uh, while the baby is in the womb, mm. um, it's growing uh, inside a woman. Mm. Uh, it looks like a leech. How does it like a, a leech? prophet would uh, it looks like a leech? Hmm. Where well, it says that? Uh, I have to find you the link, but I will send you it. Don't worry. You know, I, I, know, I, will, I, I will send you it. No, no, you do not. I, I know the Quran very well, my friend. It doesn't. It yes, says, yes, it look it it says up, look like it, look, it, it says like a congealed dead blood, and this is the verse in the front of it's you. It's blood sucking. Blood it sucking is leech. no. It is like a congealed dead blood. And this is your Islamic translation in the front of you. And Arabic is my first I will, I will Arabic is my first language. And this is the link I will send it to you in Skype. So the one who told you that he is lying to you. No, no, no. I, I've seen, I've already read it. So, okay, read, read it where read it in a, in a false Islamic translation, my friend. What read it? It's in front of you. Read it. The Quran says that Allah He He made the sperm transform into a dead blood. This is what yes. I, no, no, what does it what does it mean? Uh, uh, a bit of, no, no, not just a bit of blood. It also looks like leech. Read it more. My friend, my friend, my friend. It look, it's look like a leech or not. Alaqa, alaqa is the dead uh, blood yes. which attached to your body. So it's dead blood. Doesn't matter. Yes. So what does what does a leech? Okay, but does the sperm transform into dead blood? Yes or no? Not like. Yes. It, not like. Not no. like. Not like. It doesn't say like. It says uh, it carefully. Uh, and we have made the sperm into a congealed blood. Can you tell me what congealed blood mean? You are a doctor. I'm not. Congealed. Okay, congealed blood or concealed blood. Where does it say? Yeah. Okay, I'm not reading it actually. I'm not, here we go. That, that's, uh, you know, I, 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 I'm reading with my poor English. So, what congealed congealed blood mean? Mm, wait a sec. Hmm. We can search Google, and Prophet Google will help us. No, wait a second. Okay. No, let me open it. I'm sorry. Let me just copy the link and open it up and another you know, tab. Yeah, so so then he, uh, we made the sperm into a clot of congealed blood. Mm. Um, congealed blood, okay. Mm. When some, something called congealed, this may became from... Yeah, it's a, clot, it's a clot of blood, that's what you okay, say. It's, okay, it's basically... You. All right, so do you agree with that, that the sperm of the man will become uh, fro uh, uh, a solid blood, and that will be the baby? Blood essence, it recharged. I don't know what's the definition here. The Bible can do blood behind his head. No, no, no. You go here. Let it, see, just search for, just search for uh, here. It says here. This is a definition. I just not even. This is an. This is doctor website. It says, congeal goes. From, yeah, it goes from it goes liquid from to liquid solid. To solid. Thank you. Yes. So, this is a, a blood. So the sperm transform. Are you as a doctor? You study medicine. The first thing happened to the sperm, it transformed from a sperm into blood, and this blood is solid blood. Do you agree it, with that? It's, it, sir, it's, it's a, here's the thing. Hmm. Sperm, it uh, fertilizes the egg, okay, and then basically it's like a solid thing afterwards. No, 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 it's no, no, a cycle. no. It says, it says a blood. It says a blood. It is a blood. 
And it, it and, and okay, the sperm so, will not transform to be something solid. This is false because the sperm will go inside the egg of the women and will do fertilize the egg and deliver the DNA and then the sperm disappear. It's gone. That's it. The, the DNA will will unite with the egg and the, the fertilizing happen. It's not the sperm will grow. It's the egg will grow. So okay, you so we, here's the thing. Sir, 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 mm. let me let me just tell you. Mm. We made the sperm into a clot of congealed blood. Okay. Into a, we made the sperm into a clot of how does a clot of congealed blood looks like? You tell me. You do not know how to congeal. Okay. If you cut yourself, then, if you cut your skin, off that clot, we made a fetus lump. Mm. If okay. You, if you cut your then, skin, if you cut your skin, and then the blood is dry in the top of your skin, that is the clot of a congealed blood. Uh, okay, so it, it uh, sperm does look like a, a congealed blood. But it's not alive. This is not alive. This is dead. This is dead blood. This is dead blood. No, no, no. Okay, if you read the context, we did create from the uh, questions of uh, of uh, what is say? Uh, okay, so then we placed him as a drop of sperm in a place of rest, hmm. permanently fixed. Hmm. Uh, oh, you you didn't read the uh, the verse number thirteen, ah. which is uh, right above the verse number fourteen. I, okay. I tell you why. Okay. Uh, first sperm that, that it, is it's the vagina. telling you that, that no, that is no. Okay, it it is your. Who knows better? Who knows better what the Quran, uh, Hassan? Who knows better what the Quran mean, me or you or the Prophet? What do you think? A Prophet, okay. my Prophet. Let us go and see what the uh, what the Prophet said, and whatever oh, my, the Prophet my, said. My friend, it is what, right no, no, no. What, whatever your Prophet right. said. No, hold on, hold on. It is hold right in front. Hold of you. on, no, no, no. You know, it's not right in the front the of you. Read the verse number thirteen. No, it's here we go. Here we go. Here we go. My friend, you're not letting me read it. Read it, please. It's in front of you. This is in front yes. of you. This is your prophet uh, saying that. Your prophet the verse explained, number 13. Listen. Sir, Quran, I'm reading the Quran right in front friend, of you. Your prophet Let's explain see. the verse. Do you like to explain? You, do you oh, like your, your prophet explanation or you don't respect your my prophet friend, explanation? Friend, you're not, you're, you're, you're not do, listening. Do you, do, you, do you respect your prophet explanation or you don't? Sir, if, you, if you're talking like this, here's the thing. You're, you're not letting me make a point. I totally get your point. Now let me make my no, point too. I, I asked you which one is better, my opinion, your opinion, or the prophet's you, opinion. You have asked prophet me so many opinion. questions. Let me answer. No, no, no. Me, I'm sir. asking. My, I'm, I'm saying to you why you don't want to read what your prophet said. You told me to why you don't friend. want to Here's read what your prophet said. I'm going to read it, my friend. I'm going to read it. Just give me one minute so that I can explain to okay, you. Go ahead. Mm. Let me explain to you. Okay, mm -hmm. so verse number 13, it says, Then we placed him as a drop of sperm mm -hmm. in a place of rest. That is actually the womb. Mm -hmm. It's already been placed, okay. firmly fixed. Let me ask then you, we hold on. The, from are, you sure you're a doctor? are you sure you're a doctor? Dude, don't... If, see, Do you, the sperm go to the womb of the women? Yes, it goes into... Uh, it, Why, it, it, where, says it gets where, fixed Where is it, the egg? Where is fixed. the egg? No, no, no. Where is the egg located... Do the egg live in the my womb? Friend, do the my, egg my do the my egg friend. live in the womb, or it is outside in the womb and, and then it, it moves there? It is. The, you just said everybody heard you that the sperm go into the womb. Do the sperm go it to the womb? It gets fixed over there. That's what it's. No, saying. no, no, no. You, like said, you said. You said. You are a doctor. You my said. Friend, you said. Friend, I'm, I'm asking okay, you, please, me. scientific opinion. I, that, do yes. the sperm go to the womb, or the sperm go to the egg? Is the egg inside the womb before the sperm came to it? I am telling you, if you read the verse number thirteen, it uh, okay. I'm gonna. I'm That's gonna. The question. Just, you just said, uh, Doctor Hassan. Just let me. You just clean. said that the sperm go oh, to the yes, womb. Oh yes, I said that. Okay. Let me Do explain. the sperm, according to science, go to the womb? It goes to the. It goes to the egg, and okay, then it but gets. But where is the egg? Like the is the egg is in the womb? But but you just said. You say everybody heard you. You said the sperm go to the womb, but the womb is not where the sperm go. No, no, no. Here's the thing. Okay, you you did not even read the Quran correct. I can tell you why. My friend, you, you are the one who said to me, friend, a fixed my, place, a resting Mr. place Christian, is the Mr. womb. Christian, Prince, Mr. Christian, As you don't Hassan? let me explain to you. You basically argue a lot, but let me say. I'm not arguing. I'm trying to understand you. You claim to be a doctor. I'm not even trying to understand you. And you, you are saying that the sperm go to the womb. Like, no. Just let me finish and then then talk. Are you? I have not even made my point, and you started uh, talking. You stop. You stop in in 
interrupting me. Mm. Let me, dude, this is very frustrating. I mean, you think that you know, <laughs> I know this is your audience. Let me, let me just explain. Mm. If you read the verse number 12, what does, what does Quran say? Mm. Man, we did create from a, basically it's a car. Mm. Then we placed him, basically the sperm, mm. in a place of rest, which is in a place of rest is basically the uterus. Mm. Okay. Firmly fixed. Yes, it is attached. Mm. Okay. Mm. But what the congealed blood here is, the placenta if, and if, if there's like a uh, and if you you know uh, the uh, placenta hemorrhage if you read about it hmm. uh, it happens postpartum and there's a lot of blood yes it is um, placenta is basically uh, <laughs> supplying and receiving the blood okay okay Hassan okay. listen okay well, can we can you can you please read for me you're, the interpretation you're basically of trying, you Hassan. think that Hassan okay 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 you are you, 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 what are you say Hassan, I've already can explained. you read for me please please can read the whole Dr. Stuff Hassan, Dr. Hassan. and uh, the can product you product read for me that... your prophet explanation for the verse are you against your prophet to explain uh, the verse I am not uh, now I'm going to read it okay. because you have listened to me now I'm going to read it okay, thank you so ahead. very much okay go ahead okay so where is it <laughs> I'm sorry, I actually... Okay. Uh, see, uh, now that you let me make my point, hmm. okay, so the congealed blood is basically the placenta, if no. you read it. No. Yes, it is, it is. No. You, you read it. Because it says the sperm will become a congealed dead blood. This is the baby. Oh the my. baby... Uh, listen, you, you, everybody is laughing. I mean, it's in the front of us. And here we go. Your prophet is explaining if this is the placenta or not. Read it. Read. It's on the screen. Uh, Abdullah ibn Masood. Okay, so... Uh, hmm. Okay, even if my prophet said this kind of stuff. And this kind of stuff. Talk. Speak with respect, please. This is the prophet um, Muhammad, peace upon him. Don't say this kind of stuff. We, Don't say that, I, please. I, I, you're, insulting, friend, you're insulting yes, the prophet of Allah. No, Don't not, say this kind. Uh, so, do you I'm agree not. with what Muhammad he said here, explaining okay. the creation of the baby, or this man he is suffering from mental illness, claiming he have knowledge no, that he's fabricating? No, okay, so no, do you agree no, with him? Do you agree with him that the sperm will stay forty days in the belly of the mother? By the way, it doesn't say even the womb. It says in the billy, 40 days the sperm stay inside the women. Do you agree with him or not? Uh, where does it say? Okay, so I, I'm going to read it. Here's the truthful mm -hmm. bullet. That's where really the creation of each one of you is brought together in the mother's womb for 40 days in the form of a lutfa, the drop. Uh, then he becomes an alaka, a clot of blood, mm -hmm. uh, for a like period. Then, uh, 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 yes, that's true. Okay, yes, this true. is true. So you agree that a sperm can stay alive and will stay as a sperm in the side of the women for 40 days. Do you agree with that? He Then he becomes an alaka, the clot of blood. Do, stop mm. repeating yourself, my friend. Do you agree, one by one, do you agree that a sperm stay inside the women alive for 40 days? A nutfa is a drop. It doesn't mean it's that a it's drop, a sperm. drop of semen. No, uh, we, okay, it's a... It, it, so what's the point here? I'm asking you, do you agree that the drop of semen stay inside the women for 40 days taking vacation? Uh, according to this, this yes. Okay, but do you, this is what science says or this is what Muhammad says? This is what my prophet is saying. According okay. to this, this. Is it, okay, here's the thing. You as a doctor, I you, you as a doctor, if I, came to you, if I came to you and I say to you that the sperm stay inside the women for 40 days, I tell you why. What I you will say you, to me? Hold on, Mr. Christian. Mr. Christian, mm. uh, let me. Uh, what is your religion, by the way? I'm, are you are you you're a Christian, right? I don't know. My religion is a Christian prince. I must be Hindu. I don't know. You use your intelligence. <laughs> okay, so your name is Christian Prince. You probably are a Christian. Mm, probably, um, yeah, probably. Mm. You are a Christian. I don't know. You tell me. I'm maybe Hindu. I don't know. Like, my name is a Christian prince. <laughs> And I'm here to prove Islam is false and Jesus is true. And you are asking okay. me if I am a Christian or not. Uh, I mean, okay, I tell, here we go. I'm just asking you just to confirm it. Just like I tell mm. myself that I'm a Sunni mm. a Muslim, okay. uh, it's better if uh, you know to have the introduction like that. So I'm, I'm not sure. Mm. Okay, so um, what, what you're saying is uh, basically uh, even with the hadith, I tell you how mm. uh, hadith is what you read is. 
it's probably very good. Okay, uh, you you read. I said what you what you read uh, and wherever did you read your hadith from? Uh, it's uh, it's good. Okay, okay it's good. Uh, but you but you but you you're quoting a lot of stuff out of context too. I okay. tell you how. You help me. It says here. I, I'm going to help you uh, if you Hassan, listen to me. So I'm clear. going to it's help. It's so clear. To, you see, this, this is in the front of us. You. Explain friend, the verse in details. The sperm will be I'm 40 not, days, and then the sperm will become where? alaqa. You told me alaqa is a leech. It says Don't, here okay. a is it, lot is it of blood. Hmm. Is it also Sahih Bukhari or Sahih Muslim? Yes, this is Sahih Bukhari, and I can show it to you from anything. Sahih Bukhari, Sahih Again, Muslim. I already told you. Okay. I already told you. Yeah. We, we, we do. We, we, every Sunni Muslim, hmm. if you ask. Okay. Hmm. Uh, um, I mean, mm. we we believe that the Sahih Bukhari and Sahih Muslim mm. is only seventy percent correct. But also, mm. also okay. Mm. Um, first, we have to prove. Mm. First, we have to prove mm. uh, that uh, was he a prophet or not? Okay. So there's always a null hypothesis. As I mean, you you have to first just based upon the uh, the teachings. Mm. Just like I mean, you uh, Christians they have also a teaching where. Uh, so, someone hmm. who believes in Jesus hmm. can just uh, drink poison, and the poison won't affect you. No, this is so not. This is not. This is what it says. This is not what it says. This is what it means. <laughs> yeah, because no, it says because because Jesus he promised us, and he said uh -huh. that they can destroy this temple, even his body. They can be killed, and I will build this temple in three days. So when they say there's no poison, nothing can affect you. That's mean that Jesus promised us that we will yeah, have yeah. eternal life with him. But you're a prophet who said. As long as you mention this, that if, well, you, I eat mean, seven, if you eat seven adwa, no poison will affect you, and no magic. Is that true? You know, you know. Here's the thing: hmm. you, you're basically, you're basically uh, talking about the hadith, which are, which are very. Again, if I'm, I'm going to say zaif, you're going to laugh. It I is not zaif. It is Sahih Bukhari, my friend. It is Sahih. I already told you. We believe it's seventy percent true. Okay, no. why? Uh, there's like a lot of no uh, no problem, but you have to prove that this is not that not a single Muslim. He I'm, says I'm this going, is weak. I'm, my, I'm going to put forward my point right. here. So okay, okay. So if, you're a prophet who came with the knowledge. If you eat seven ajwa and I'm if you uh, that no friend. magic can control you, how that how how the ajwa can control the magic and stop the magic? This is a, if you try it, yeah. Why okay. Not? So if I try it, that, that would not happen to me. But Muhammad, he was bewitched, and he is the one telling them eat ajwa. But he himself was bewitched, and he died by poison. So he's lying. No, he's not. Okay. Well, if I say to you, I'm a doctor. My name is Hassan. Eat seven uh -huh. ajwa, and no uh -huh. poison and no magic will affect you. It doesn't mean it doesn't mean that I'm myself. Okay. If I tell you that uh, I, if I'm a doctor, it means I'm, I should never become sick. What's the point? No, I, no, I, no. I, you I, told me I specific thing. Sick. You told me. You told me <laughs> if you eat this thing, nothing will happen to you specifically. If I, if I tell you, my if friend, I tell you, no, no, your prophet is uh, not no, saying. No, listen, listen to me. Listen, no, you listen are to not me. being honest now, <laughs> Dr. Hassan. It says I'm the prophet. Honest. The prophet. The prophet said, if you eat seven ajwa a day, no uh -huh. magic will affect you and no poison. And look, the hadith in front of us, and this is Sahih Bukhari, and this is Sahih. Mm -hmm. The prophet saying in his element of death, which he died. He used to say, Oh Aisha, I feel the pain which caused by the food of I ate at Khaybar. At this time, I feel as if it is my orta is being cut off. So from what? From that poison. So you're a prophet himself, he is eating ajwa. And yet he was poisoned. Uh, where does it say that he's eating ajwa? <laughs> So he's teaching you to eat ajwa. So he's teaching you. Okay. I teach a so lot of stuff. Okay. I teach a lot. So, it doesn't mean so that I teach all you, antibiotics okay, myself. If I show I you, if I show you, you're a prophet <laughs> eating ajwa, what you will say? Is that okay? Uh, so what, what? What does it prove? What, you are the one saying to me what that prove? Uh, he, he is eating. If he's eating ajwa, so how he is saying if you eat ajwa that will not affect you? No poison and no magic. It will protect you. Yeah, sure. Okay. Uh, can we like have a date with you and next week you open the, uh, the camera and you uh, take a uh, rat poison and uh, <laughs> ajwa? That's what I'm telling you. Here's the thing. No, no, no. Here's the thing. Uh, people taking ajwa and then they, uh, uh, if my prophet is saying it, that's true. Mm. Okay. Listen. Uh, so what we learn here that your prophet is teaching his own fiction science that a baby, uh, uh, first he is a sperm. And the sperm became a dead blood, and this sperm stay inside the women for forty days. And you, as a doctor, you confirm that this is a true. 
Just no, I'm, I'm, I'm saying, I'm saying uh, mm. again, last time even I mentioned you, Adit, mm. I, I tell you what, uh, for example, uh, I already told you that we believe that 70%. You, now you, you just start quoting the stuff. Okay, you know, Hassan, uh, just to make it simple. You see, our, sure. our uh, talk is about you proving to me Islam is true. And you mentioned to me that the Quran have signs. I, Can you show uh, me? I'm not you, going you, to, I'm not going you, to pick up my... You start asking me I'm the questions, going, right? Listen, listen, my friend. I'm not going to pick up... start asking me the questions, you don't let me Hassan, prove it. Hassan, Hassan. No, no, I, now I will give you... The, uh, what do you mean? No, you don't. Look, okay. no, you don't. I, now it's I will give you the mic. I will give you the mic. And mm -hmm. I want you... You and you are the one who mentioned everybody heard you that there is a science in the Quran. There's a science in the Quran. Can you show me one example of science one by one and see if it's I, true or it's a lie? I will tell you, I will tell you everything. Hmm. Uh, but my uh, focus over here right now is to uh, give you the opinions hmm. uh, about the prophecies hmm. and the stuff, like which actually the topic here is uh, proving that uh, basically Muhammad sallam, is a prophet or not. Hmm. Okay. I mean, I'm giving you some rational uh, stuff that I think, okay, and I believe, okay. But isn't Muslim. this is a prophecy? When Muhammad, he says that the sperm stay inside the women for 40 days, he prophesied. My friend, my friend, here's the thing. Uh -huh. Are you going to let me speak or are you going to ask we me the question? We are having a conversation. It's not only you you're speak, not, you you're not something. Uh, of course, you say Muhammad have a prophecy? Is it, this is a prophecy me, when he prophesied? When I say to you, and I claim to this be a is, prophet, again, you 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 keep on repeating the same point. Uh, okay, you keep on telling me the same. Uh, okay, Hadith, and then you say Zayif Hadith. If I tell you Zayif, you don't. It's you, not Zayif. I, I challenge you to prove it. It is Zayif. It is, it is Sahih Bukhari. What the? I is? already told you. There are like seventy percent. We all need. But uh, not even one Muslim can say it is Zayif. I challenge oh, you. Oh my God! <laughs> Are you gonna let me? With the Quran, okay. What about the Quran? Is the Quran the if too? The Quran says no, so. Quran I show you. The Quran, Quran, okay. The Quran says that the sperm transform into a congealed blood. Do you agree with that? I totally agree with that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. Listen. I want I'm you in the front, the Hassan. Good, Hassan. To bring to a, I want you to bring me. <laughs> I want you to bring me the best of the science of the Quran. Choose anyone, anything you want. I will. I will tell you in the next in the in the next session if we ever have. Of course, no, no, I will. No, 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 no. Give me one. No, 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 no. Because you you you, you are saying <laughs> you're not, you're I'm not, not giving you. No, you see, hey, guys, I'm not giving you a give chance. Five minutes, Hassan. Give me five minutes. Hassan, give me five minutes. I will, I will give you speak. five hours. Yes. You say it. You say it. Oh, I'm, not giving you, <laughs> I'm not giving you a chance to prove it, so I'm asking you, please. Can you give us one proof from the Quran? If it. you don't want hadith, will, can you give, can you give us from the Quran one scientific proof the Quran is true? Go ahead. I will give you. I will give you. I Go will ahead. give you. I'm listening. I will give you. Of course, I will give I'm you. I, I already told you. I promise you. No, give me now. So no, next next week, next week, same time. I will give you. Mm. How about that? What about now? I yeah. promise you, I'm not gonna run away, dude. I'm okay. not gonna. Run. I'm not running away. All right. I'm here. Let me just complete my discussion. Let me just make a few points. Mm -hmm. Let me. If you if you don't if you want to interrupt me, that's fine. Go okay, ahead, go you can ask okay, me the question. Let me. Okay. So 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 let me just tell you why do I believe, and then you can say okay. Then you can raise the. the let's have a civil conversation. Okay. So first of all, uh, so the way. Um, if somebody is lying, there has to be a reason why he's lying. Okay, he was the uh, he, he was called the most truthful person till the age forty. By who? Uh, by the people around him. Where by it, the where, whole where it says that? Muslims and where Muslims. Says, where that? That's where a very good question. Muslim, Christian, Jews, everybody. No, no, and so, the, okay, show okay. me, show me the Jews and the Christians who says the Muhammad is the most truthful person. Go ahead. It's it's in the books too. Where where, where where where? It's in our it's in our sunnah and hadith and everything. Mm, okay. Okay. Just write down the. You can you can definitely you know dig it. <laughs> let okay. me uh, Hassan Hassan. My friend, let me just make a few points. No no. Just because let you me just said something. You just, you just, you just like said something. You four just minutes. Something. Four minutes. Four minutes. Okay. Go, I will time, take now. Go time, time me. Time me. Okay. Four minutes. So uh, so the first thing is that uh, was it called the most truthful? He was called the most truthful. He was uh, like people would actually give him the things that they would know that he won't steal or, uh, you know. So, and was he born in a, in a modest and uh, very highly respectful family? Yes, he was from Quraysh and he was highly respectful. He had, so imagine somebody who has not been called a liar till the age 40. Uh, and when he made the claim afterwards, then yes, 
people would say either he's a liar or there's like a magic going on in him mm. and uh, or he has gone crazy all these kind of stuff they came later so but it doesn't make any sense if somebody is already rich people also offered him that's like a known fact um, that his uncle had keys uh, to the kaaba mm. uh, because a lot of people claim that or now uh, people accuse him that he wants the power that's why and the kaaba was the most respected place at that time mm. in that part of arab and also uh, Arabs, uh, they did offer him money and women, you know, uh, that you could just uh, take this stuff if you want this, you know, uh, but get off your claim. And he, what he was claiming was uh, to worship one God, Allah. Okay, that's mm -hmm. it. That's like, and, 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 he, he, and he said uh, the, the God of Abraham. Basically, the Jew, uh, that's what he said, actually. And, I mean, he could have anything. And then he was married um, <laughs> until, until uh, at the age of 25, and then uh, he stayed married to the one woman till the age of 40. Okay. Uh, I mean, he, if someone wants uh, wives and the, and the, and the money, hmm. I mean, uh, imagine why would he or she would stay uh, modest and, uh, and like this or you know to the age of 40 and then afterwards he would start preaching you know it, it doesn't make any sense okay uh, he could have gotten married to a uh, younger people you know uh, even at the age of, and also when he was offered he didn't take it he said one god okay allah mm -hmm. and uh, and then he he married to aisha at the age of 53 i mean Guys, uh, what I want to say here is that he married Khadija at the age of what? No, Aisha. Aisha at the Aisha. age. Aisha. Okay, let me ask you. You said give something. Very, you uh, said you said something very me, important. Give me one minute. You said give something one very minute. important. Just write everything. Okay, one minute. Write everything okay, guys, down. One minute. Give me one. Because you said five uh, minutes me, ago, me and you now it's five minutes gone. And my silence. I'm listening. No, okay. five minutes are not gone. I'm timing right. it right in front of myself. Okay. Oh, hello, I'm right. timing it. Mm. Mm. I, I, I spoke only one minute or 15 seconds something. Mm. Mm. Okay. Mm. So he married Aisha at the age of 53. Mm. Okay. So, uh, I mean, if, if someone, um, I would say, I mean, he made a claim at the age of uh, 40, 41. Mm. So if someone, and when he was offered, mm. he didn't take it. Mm. It doesn't make it. It's a lot. There has to be a logical explanation. Okay. And the if you see, over, my you, libido always goes you down. One, okay. You said one minute, Hassan. Okay. Okay. Can I, okay. Talk? Can I talk? And also, I mean, can I talk? Um, Hassan, can I talk, please? Hello. Please, can, I, can I talk? Because five minutes is over from long time. You said one minute again. You say one minute, one minute, and you keep talking. Can you talk? No, no, you didn't even let me finish. Come on. Wait, what finish? What, uh, how, when will you finish? 10 hours from now? I mean, that, that's it. We got it. No, Look, I... You mentioned to me that he married Khadija. Is it true that Muhammad and Khadija, they made the father of Khadija get it drunk so he will accept Muhammad to be a husband? Oh. You are saying to me he's coming from he a noble will. family. Why a person, he will be rejected the by the it's father the of a woman she is married twice already and she have tons of kids. And yet oh. she is a lot older than Muhammad. Yet Muhammad and Khadija, they made the father of Khadija get it drunk. And when he's drunk, they took That's off his clothes. True. That is just not true. It's in the front <laughs> of you on the screen. Here we go. And Ibn Abbas. And Ibn yeah. Abbas. Who said that? Ibn Abbas, the cousin of your prophet. And Rasulullah, uh, uh, Khadija wa kana abuha. So, it's in front I of you. Like to, I would like to say that. Ya raghab an yuzawijuhu. So uh, her father, he refused to marry her to him. So look what she did. Oh she made a drink, a food and drink. Okay. Here we go. I'm showing the screen. And I will show the page number. And this is your Islamic reference. This is Musnad Ahmad, which you Muslims supposedly believe in it. Look what it says. So she made she made food and drunk drink. And she asked her father to come, invited him. And she invited him from Quraysh. And then after they ate and they drank, and you're showing Arabic. And Where's the English? What? what? Where's the Ar it's, it's only Arabic. Where's well, the it's not my fault. This book is not translated. Who cares? I mean, ask your scholar. Uh, later, I'm listen, not... listen, listen. No, later, 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 you can take this uh, snapshot. Take a snapshot. Take it to your scholar, the Sheikh in the mosque, who speak Arabic. If you speak Arabic, tell him to read it for you. And I will show you the Everybody. page number. Hold on, hold on. Let me finish. And okay, so sure. she made him, a, 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 they made them eat and drink until they get a drunk. And then Khadija, she said to her father, 
that inna Muhammad ibn Abdullah yakhtubuni. Muhammad, he wanna marry me. Fazawajni, uh, he said, okay, he's drunk. And then, then she made him a, dr a, dr a dress, and the nice clothes, and wa albasat wa hulla. So she made him dress the most nice suit he have because in, in wedding party, they have nice clothes, like everywhere. The clothes they wear, they save it only for occasion. So here, Khadija, she made him drunk and she made him agree to marry Muhammad and Muhammad was part of this game to marry her. And you are saying to me, he's a trustworthy. Okay, now I can- If your can daughter, I, hold on. If your daughter, daughter, if your daughter, daughter, listen, if your daughter, she wanna marry someone and then she made you get a drunk. And can then when you are drunk, she says to you, this guy, he want to marry him. Do you accept him? The guy, he said, oh, mm, uh, this okay, guy, you can marry I talk? him. Okay, no can problem. Can I talk now? Okay, go can on. I talk? Mm. Can I speak? Mm. Okay. So first of all, uh, there are like two points that I would like to make over here. Mm. Uh, and I hope that, okay, so first point is about the alcohol. And the second point will be about, uh, uh, you know, the young marriages and everything, about the culture and stuff. Mm. So uh, first of all, the Arabs over there, they were, uh, even in the Quran, if you if you read, uh, alcohol was prohibited like very later, and people used to drink uh, alcohol uh, like uh, water, mm. even over there uh, mm. uh, at that time. Okay. Okay. And uh, people would actually drink water, uh, drink alcohol just mm. like uh, water. Mm. I mean, it was like uh, yeah, uh, like water. Even, yeah. even mm -hmm. okay. okay. You, you got my point. Okay. So, and, and the second. So, so that it, is an excuse. It, 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 that is an excuse for somebody you call him a trustworthy to make his oh, his father-in-law oh drunk God, to marry a woman. Are you saying to me that the fraud? Are you saying to me at that time a fraud was friend, not, not was not forbidden? Are you okay, saying a fraud was yes, not forbidden? Was fraud. No, this is a fraud. Alcohol was not forbidden. The first the first thing Muhammad did in his me, life it was a fraud. He married Khadija by a fraud. No, no, no it was not a fraud. It was not a fraud. She made him uh, drunk. She 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 liked him. He didn't him. make. He, he didn't make. You know, she didn't make him. Uh, she didn't make him drunk. It's in the front no, of you. It's in the front of us. I, it's my in Arabic. I cannot. I will trust. Get it. No, my problem. That's not my problem. Well, Here we go. Hold on. This is Musnad yeah. Ahmed, variant number five, page number forty-six, I'm, I'm, hadith number two eight four nine, hadith I'm number. Friend. Listen, I'm listen, friend. listen, listen. Hadith number two eight four nine, Musnad Ahmed. Value number five, page number forty-six, and you take a snapshot as we showed I'm you in the screen, the and will. you can okay. take it to your shake. And yes. I change any more time to say I'm lying. Okay, now can I can I have one minute? Sure. Okay, so first of all, the alcohol thing is it's cultural thing. Hmm. Secondly, if, if, if you know uh, profit about profit, there are a lot of people who actually uh, uh, say that uh, he married a younger woman at the age of fifty. First of all, the libido level falls. And why would somebody marry uh, at a later age after 50 to a younger woman? Uh, because, again, she's rich, because she's oh, rich. Because she's you, rich. You I'm, I'm talking about the Aisha now. I'm, I'm talking about the Aisha. Because you think, you, I, I, will, I will definitely. Okay, uh, how, how young listen. Aisha was? Guys, uh, guys, she, she, was, she was what? Six or, or okay, nine? Six. Why somebody he marry a girl she is six? No, I, I told you six, but he uh, he got her uh, in the house around okay. nine. Uh, okay, nine. let us say no intercourse. Yes. He he married her at the age of six. He have intercourse yes. at the age of nine. Okay, yes, why absolutely. why a man at the age and you are the one who said fifty three, not me. At I the age of fifty three, according to yes, you, can I, can why, I, can somebody, I why somebody why uh, somebody at the age of fifty three he I, marry I he marry a six. kid? Let me talk. Let me talk. Let mm. me talk now. All right. Let me talk now. All right. Can I have one minute? Sure. One minute. You right. will not you will not interrupt me. No problem. Go ahead. Okay, thank you so you much. Promise me one minute. Uh, huh? One minute. Okay. Oh yes, one minute. One minute. Okay. You you always interrupting. Just uh, give me one minute. No. Uh, okay. So first of all, uh, if it was not a, a culture now, people would have uh, objected it. Okay. And mm -hmm. if his uh, father himself is giving um, uh, his daughter to a pious man, then def definitely it was an honor. And if if uh, it was me, I would have also done the same. Uh, I wish it was me. Mm -hmm. Secondly, if you even in USA today. Mm -hmm. Today, even in USA today, there are there are. Uh, I'm talking about the first world country, USA. Mm -hmm. There, uh, there is a community in Kansas or someplace. You look it up, Google it. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. they still um, marry their daughters off at the very young age. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. to the older people. Okay, okay. I mean, it's a cultural thing. Here's the thing: Why is the slavery? I, I'm going to talk about a little bit about slavery. Thank you so very much. My time is almost up, but. Let me make one point about the slavery too. <laughs> people, 
uh, this slavery was not even uh, prohibited uh, in in USA uh, till a long time. I mean, it was like last century or what? I mean, people were carrying their slaves in Christianity, mm. in Islam, mm. in, in Judaism, everywhere. It was a cultural thing. Mm. Are you done? So, uh, so the your, point was about your mate is done. Yeah, okay, my the point is done. Thank you. Well, let's so, make it talk. Okay, so now make I'm a, going to ask you as a, a as a doctor. Very brief, very brief and I want to ask you as a doctor. I will give you the mic back, and I will give you two minutes, not one minute. Okay, what make cool. you keep saying there is some they marry children, etc. Okay. What make a person at the age of 53 who was mm -hmm. married to a rich woman, she is a lot older than him just because she is rich, to marry a child at the age of six? What the, what the benefit of this marriage? Go ahead. Okay. Uh, can I talk now? Okay. So first of all, uh, you're saying, you, you're claiming that he married her because of the money. Mm. Okay. Uh, and actually, uh, that, that was not the case. Mm. She was a pious woman, and he was. He himself was also rich, by the way. If, he is, if, if, if Muhammad was he, rich, but she was. She was. She was richer than him, but he was also himself very rich. Uh, you, he, his uncle had the key to Kaaba, and Kaaba was uh, like uh, mm. even in Arab today. Mm. Uh, Kaaba is also considered as, uh, is all has always been considered as a sacred place, mm. if you know. Okay. So if if you. I mean, if you conform with the books, mm. you will have a better knowledge and and uh, like a wider perspective mm. about what was going on, and you'll see the bigger picture. So, uh, I mean, she was richer, yes, but he himself was also he also belonged to a very noble family, and all the people uh, would uh, uh, call him a trusted person. I mean, very trustful. As I know that Ali Ibn Abi Talib, he was a very poor man. What are you talking about? And no, as, as I know, your prophet he used to very eat, noble. He used noble. to eat. He used to eat lizard because he had no food. As I know that your prophet uh, he used to put a belt around his uh, around uh, his yes, stomach happened. because he was hungry. After so now listen, listen to this. Okay, let, let me ask. Okay, you. So you're gonna talk now. Now I'm not gonna talk. I'm your, not your, time gonna talk right. your time is up. You know. You, yes. You said, yes. Okay. Please talk. Please right. talk. Please ask, talk. Uh, let us go back, and I will make it simple for you. Yes. 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 If I saw a guy in the street and he is married to a widow, and I say to him, "What did you marry?" He say a widow. I say to him, go and marry a child is better. What do you think about such an advice? Uh, you're jumping to, you're you making a claim about the uh, money stuff, okay? Yeah, uh, I'm not talking, you talking now. No, no, I'm talking about, let's, let's stay with focus with the age of girls who we can have sexual relationship with. If I advise a man to get uh -huh. rid of his, because he is married already to a widow woman, and I say okay. to him, why you didn't marry this widow? Why you don't marry a little child? Yes, in what can do you I, say? I, can, what okay, do you say? I, I can I can explain. Mm, I can ahead. explain. Go ahead. Hello. Mm. Thank you so very much. I will have two minutes. Okay. Go ahead. Here we can go. I have two minutes? Sure. Oh, I will start. Here we go. Diamond is starting. So, so again, now now I want to address the issue of the hadith. Here's mm. the thing, in hadith, uh, it's always uh, and it's most of the time actually the way I see it, and also a lot of uh, other uh, uh, people see it is always subjective. Here, the point is that, for example, uh, I give you an ex I'm giving you an example of a different mm -hmm. hadith. Mm -hmm. uh, there were like two companions um, uh, of the Prophet, and uh, they came. Uh, they came to him. Uh, they were both fasting. Now, it, the sex is basically prohibited when you're fasting. Okay, so uh, one of them said uh, that, uh, uh, "Can I approach my wife?" Uh, and Prophet said, uh, "Yes, you can." Uh, uh, but only kiss, okay? Mm -hmm. And the other person uh, said, uh, uh, can I approach my wife? Can I kiss my wife? Basically, they kissed my wife. Uh, that, mm -hmm. And Prophet said, no, you cannot. The reason was that the first come, and then uh, later on, uh, uh, people asked him, uh, asked the, uh, the Prophet, why did you say to the one person that you cannot kiss your wife uh, when you're fasting? And the other person, you said, yes, you can. Mm -hmm. Uh Prophet replied, "Because I know that his his iman, his iman, his faith is strong, and he will he has a strong um, what's it called? Uh, uh, he has, he's mentally tough, and he can basically stop himself mm. from engaging engaging in sexual intercourse, mm. um, even when he uh, kisses his wife, okay, mm. uh, or show affection to the wife. Mm -hmm. And the other person, he's weaker in his faith, 
kids and uh, if he goes even closer to the wife mm. okay mm. Uh, he will definitely engage in the sexual mm. because his faith is not that strong okay. so my point here was that, that like uh, different um, different narrations different uh, uh, different uh, commandments uh, uh, for the same question okay uh, now now i'm going to so come to is over. your it's point two minutes two minutes just let me, let me let me ask you the quran as long as you're talking about sexual I'm control okay uh, i'm going to come to your quran, point the, the quran says like just, uh, let me ask uh, the quran okay. says why the quran forbid muslim men from having sex with women have their period do you think this is good or bad you cannot have uh, you cannot approach your wife if she have her period why the quran says don't get close to the women who they have their menses is that it, it, good uh, or bad uh during, during menses yeah it says don't approach your wife when they have their menses do you support that or you're against it uh, there's nothing wrong with it um okay yes so, okay so yes. you, a man should not approach his wife if she have her menses correct if you say it's in quran i have not read it but i will uh, because yeah this, sometimes is, this is quran chapter 2 verse number 222 two, two. It says, approach okay. not your wives when they have their menses. So if a Muslim, he approach his wife when she have her menses, is he breaking the command of Allah? No. Uh, I tell you why. Hmm. I, I tell you why. Uh, if, if I, uh, um, as a Muslim, hmm. uh, and uh, there's, there are like things in Quran which are like said as, it is prohibited for you, hmm. okay? And then there are things it's better not to do it. Mm. I mean, there, there, there's like a different way to state things. Mm. Uh, if I drink alcohol right now, it won't make me a non-Muslim. Mm. It would make me a bad but Muslim. But you are breaking yes. the command of Allah, correct? You're I know. The command I know. Okay. I know. So I, the question I'm is, trying to make a point here. Yeah. Let me make a, let me let me give give me like 15 seconds. Oh. Uh, what I'm saying is mm. that if I drink alcohol, I will break the command of Allah. Okay, mm. but it won't make me a non-Muslim. Mm. It will make me make me a bad Muslim. Okay, thank you. Yes. So thank if you. somebody have sex with his wife or he get approach his wife when she have her menstruation, that will make him a bad Muslim. That's what you are saying. Yes. Okay. Yes. So it is. It guys, is. Did he, say, uh, did he say? Did he say? If you do that, if you do that, that make you a bad Muslim. You just say that the prophet is a bad Muslim because the prophet he approach his wife and she was in her menstruation. So he is a bad Muslim, according to you, and everybody heard you again, again, again. again. No, this is this is your talk. talk. Everybody heard you. Listen, this yes, is absolutely. this is your prophet so, saying. I is saying when I was menstruating, menstruating the prophet S A W, you would to order me to warp myself with up an Izar sheet, you know, like a diver, put it between her legs, and he used to fondle her. So you, the, okay. you said the one who have a strong faith, he control himself when when he said to the first one, kiss the women, the second one, don't kiss the women. So where is the strong it, faith of Muhammad to control himself? He had many wives already. Why he need to fondle <laughs> this child when she have her menstruation? I, I can, uh, okay, can I talk now? Mm, go ahead. Okay. So basically, uh, uh, so, ba so basically what, what's going on over here is like, uh, where is that thing when I was meant to, yes. He approached her, mm. and uh, if someone, I, I tell you what, if you cuddle with your wife, okay, and it does, it doesn't mean that you have like a, a bad, uh, like a, a weak fate or something, mm. okay. There's nothing like that, mm. okay. Yes, uh, there was. I, I'm again telling you uh, the 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 hadith that I mentioned earlier, okay. That was for the Sahaba. Again, I'm telling you, it was subjective. Okay, and in that specific uh, context that was going on over there, okay, mm. uh, doing uh, uh, and like again subjective. Okay, now if, if even if a prophet uh, does this thing uh, that uh, he follows, it's not like you're engaging in the sexual activity. If you if you read the Quran earlier uh, that you were showing on the screen, uh, do not approach the wives because Allah always. Uh, uh, talk in uh, uh, he, he has a very uh, what is it called uh, he has his own way so approaching the wife basically do not engage in sex that's the narration actually I, I can assure you this thing okay if you read it it basically do not engage in sex while men menstruating okay but you can follow of course you can follow. what fundal mean explain to us what fundal basically you can uh, uh, hug the wife 
Okay. Uh, it's it's there's nothing wrong. Sandal is hug, hugging the wife only. So hmm? why she have to put something between her legs? What do you mean? Where, where is this? Uh, it's in the front of you. It says he ordered her to put an izar, a diaper, over her private part, down her. Yes. Wrist. Oh, okay, okay. Mm. So I tell you, I tell you what happened. Mm. What you can ask me that. Uh, no, let me explain. Thank you. Mm. So, uh, so basically, the thing is, uh, Prophet said uh, to wrap yourself around the waist, okay, uh, so that he would not engage in the sex sexual activity, okay. But you can have. Uh, Okay, I'm going to. Um, so basically, you can uh, have uh, uh, the funneling and everything, and we can actually enjoy with, with the wife, but uh, would not engage in the sexual activity explicitly, okay, uh, specifically, mm -hmm. uh, but can do everything else, which is like uh, cuddling and kissing and everything. Um, um, uh, I'm talking about this thing, okay? Uh, uh, so this is what, and so a prophet said, okay, wrap yourself so that he would not approach uh, that area of uh, his wife. Okay, so he, he specifically said, wrap like, uh, so that he, uh, azar, azar bun, is called azar bun, so mm -hmm. that uh, basically that part is tightly closed and he would not uh, engage in the sexual activity. But, you know, there's like a lot of other things. I mean, you, uh, for a male to enjoy, it's not just a, like the penetration thing. Uh, you can actually enjoy your wives in a lot of other ways. So there's, it's not prohibited, mm -hmm. but yes, engaging in the sexual activity okay. during menstruation Are you done? is, uh, is consider, considered I am the bad. one who asks you, if somebody approach his wife in any way, when mm -hmm. she have her menstruation, is that wrong? He said, this is not will make me a Muslim, that will make me a bad Muslim. And this is approach, sexual. Approach this, is, this is sexual. It is sexual. This is not yes. kissing. This is sexual. This is why he is fondling her. And actually, it's used even the same exact word in the Quran. Yubashiruni. Fayubashiruni. The word in the Quran, don't do mubashara. Here we go. Yes. Okay. Absolutely. So, so you cannot do that. You can't even get close to them. Don't approach them. Don't even get close to them. Fala taqrabuhun. Don't even get close to them. So, how a prophet of God? No, he tell the Muslims in the Quran, don't get cl close to your wives. Don't get close to your wife. And you can open any translation. La taqrabuhun. Don't even get near them. And yet he ordered his wife to put a sheet between her legs so he can play with his private part with her. I, okay, can I explain now? Mm, go ahead. Okay, thank you. Mm. So uh, basically, Quran also uh, tells that uh, you can approach your wives. Mm. Uh, and in, in the Arabic, it's like, uh, mm. what is it called? Uh, uh, basically, vagina is where the fruit is. Okay. Where is what? Uh, where is what? Vagina is basically where the fruit. I mean, I'm not saying this. The, I'm just making fruit? what I'm trying to. What the fruit? What I'm trying what, to. What fruit? It, it bears the fruit. It bears the child. Okay. So uh, you can approach your wives. Uh, mm. Basically, anal sex is also prohibited in in Islam. You know, mm. and it's uh, where, where is so, it? where it says. Where I thought the Quran says the opposite. You can't do that. Hmm? The Quran says you can do that. Where does it say that, uh, that you go. can do it? Lakum, 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 and so your wife is... Where does it say? Where does it say? Here we go. Let me... The verse sure, here sure. we go. Chapter 2, verse number 2, 2, 3. Your wife is the same as a ground in you, the same as a field. So dig in the field. Exactly. As you wish. Mm, exactly. Uh, wait, 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 does it say? Uh, can I? Can Chapter I read two, it? verse number two, two. Okay, three. women are like fields. Okay, women are like fields. Yes, it's called Katia. So fields, basically, uh, the thing is, uh, can I talk now? Yeah. Okay. So fields are, are where you actually, whenever you uh, bear a seed, and you will get the fruit. Okay. So, uh, so. You you will get the fruit uh, from a field whenever you bear the seed. Where do you bear the seed? Uh, for uh, in the vagina and not in the anal part. Mm. So this is like if you, if you read it, it's the field. Field means uh, uh, 
which will go, okay? So it, spe it specifically says uh, vaginal sex. It does not mean the anal sex. Okay. Thank you. Does it say, you see, I'm, I'm, show, I'm showing you your Muslim translation, which is all full of lies. It says you approach your wife as you wish, uh, whatever you want. Just dig in it. It says here. Well, it also says, uh, your wife are says death for you, so go to your death when you and how you will, when and how you will, as you wish. Okay, can I explain now? Mm. Okay, women are like fields for you. Fields. Mm. Do you agree with that? That your women are fields and we dig on them? Yes, yes. Fields, fields will, uh, mm. where, mm. where you will uh, bear a seed mm. and you will get a fruit or your mm. crops. Mm. And that means vaginal part, not mm. the inner part. Mm. Okay. Well, you know, uh, I'm really glad, uh, Dr. Hassan, that today we have a good conversation together and you help us a lot to understand Islam. I mean, your answer was amazing. So when we can have you again next time? Um, next week, okay. inshallah. So next week we can have a debate about science and the Quran. You get ready? Okay, sure. Okay. Because you sure. are, you mentioned to me, give me time to to uh, to bring you science will, the Quran. Okay. I'll, so guys, next week we will have Dr. Hassan with us, and he will show us the science of the Quran, and you will see, you will hear amazing science from Dr. Hassan. He's the doctor. He's a doctor. I mean, come on, he's a, this is his profession. You know, this is what he do for a living. So next week we are expecting a debate. Do you like? Do you want a date? Certain date? Can we set a date or what? Uh, sir, um, let me see. Hmm. Okay, so it's 20th, okay, 20th, yes, 20th. The 20th of this month? 20th of October. Seven yes. days from now, next week, that will be what, Sunday? Seven days. Sunday? Yes. Okay, yes, so Sunday. guys, next week, Sunday, I will I will schedule it later. So now, I don't know where you live, what time is for you now? Uh, I'm in Houston, so... I'm in Houston, it's, okay. It's so, so we can say, like, what, uh, 1 p.m. in Houston time? We can be here, or 2 p.m.? Absolutely, or? absolutely. Okay. That, that, so I, I, will, I, will set, I will send you a link for it when it's ready, so you can follow with us and you can join us. So, guys, next week, next Sunday, we have Dr. Sure. Hassan, and the debate is about science in, the, in, in Islam, science and the Quran, and Dr. Hassan will help us uh, uh, to understand Islam. I will try my best. I will try no my problem. best. Thank you, Dr. Hassan, for being Thank with you. us. Thank you. And uh, 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 good to have you. Thank you. Take care. Okay. You have a good one. All Thank right. you. Bye. All right. I don't know. You guys, you leave your comment. You heard everything. I don't know what to say. No more comments. No more comments. This is what is called answer of doctors. The sun set in murky water, he agree. And he accused science that science does not know. Sperm stay in the women for 40 days, and he agree. Hmm. The sperm became a congealed dead blood, and he agree. But he's a doctor. This is not a barber shop guy. This is not a taxi driver. This is not a bus driver. This is a doctor. And he is originally from India, with my respect to the Indian people. If this is what the doctor says to us, what a normal Muslim would say, just to defend Islam, what they can say. Watch the debate from the beginning. It's going to take some time before it's loaded from the beginning. And please don't forget to download it and share it with your friends. All right? Now, uh, uh, the previous debate, uh, you know, the previous video, uh, I put it in a private, but still the, the chat is running there. I don't know why, but it's not important. Later, it's going to be posted in the front channel, so you will see it. I want to say, guys, thank you for being here. Did we have a good time? Did we have a good time? We have a good time. Wonderful time. And you make a decision. If you are a Christian, if you are a Muslim, if you are a Hindu, if you are an atheist, you heard from a Christian prince, you heard from Dr. Hassan, who is a psychiatric, you know, I will never go to Dr. Hassan if something happened to me. I'm telling you from now. I prefer to stay crazy. Because Dr. Hassan, obviously, with my respect to him, he will make me more crazy. I will go to his clinic. He will tell me that the sun set in murky water. And the sperm stay inside the women for 40 days. And the sperm transform into dead blood. So before you go to Dr. Hassan, maybe you are crazy. After you go to Dr. Hassan, you are professionally, officially crazy.
no comment thank you for being here thank you for your support thank you for inviting your friends and i hope uh, if i can go live on air maybe tonight i don't know i mean those this revision driving me crazy <laughs> and you know if my if i want to marry a woman in one day and her father don't want to marry me to her it's not a fraud to make the father get drunk and tell him that you married me to her when you are drunk it's not a fraud my friend this is good uh, this is the trustworthy behavior this is a good person and why at that time brother uh, alcohol was not forbidden but this we're not talking about alcohol we're talking about a fraud you see the logic how they try to I don't know again leave your comment in the text in the chat in the text after we finish and um, tell me what do you think and please just don't uh, avoid using bad language don't call people names say what you think about the topic don't attack the person let us be people who speak with respect and love and we love the Muslims and I pray that Hassan he will watch this debate again and he will see why Islam is bad and why Islam is wrong from what he said he was doing his best to defend a false religion obviously and he was willing to sacrifice his degree just to defend Islam as simple as that he could not defend Islam by being doctor he have defend Islam by saying science is wrong and science is full of fictions this is what he said thank you for being here may the Lord bless you all and we see you soon again Christ is Lord Islam is false and we see you soon take care